Now this is really uh, exciting. Yeah. Uh, the indigenous students in Lansing School District are getting an opportunity to take powwow dance classes offered through the school. And now Claudia, you were able to go to the class and really see it all happen. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so it was incredible. Um, and you know, they went from everything. It wasn't just about dance. It was about origins of specific dances mm -hmm. to proper powwow etiquette okay. to specific dances that are important to indigenous culture. And that's really great when you think about because um, you'll see the instructor says a lot of students, indigenous students right here, have never been to a powwow, so oh. they might not know how to go and how to be confident there. And this is going to give them the tools to be confident so that they can have the best time celebrating their culture. Take a look. <laughs> My memories of starting to dance is seeing other people that I care about taking me out there and making sure that I know those teachings. Walking hand in hand with my mom at the age that my two-year-old is just holding her hand, following her around, idolizing her and you know learning to dance from her. That's my memories of starting to dance. I have lived on a reservation before at different points in my life, but the main periods of growing up, I lived in the city. I'm a city native kid. We didn't have the opportunities that a lot of the kids that grew up about around a tons of other native families. So programs like these are so important because it gives people that never had that opportunity because their family might have moved away from a reservation or never lived on a reservation. There are tons of kids in the class today that have never even been to a powwow. So being able to teach them what it is, being able to teach them basic steps so that if they chose to go to a powwow tomorrow, they could have more confidence and feel more comfortable um, knowing some of their teachings of their own people. I never had the opportunity for something like this, but luckily I did grow up in a family that taught me it. It's super exciting because it's giving a lot of kids a chance to get out there and learn some things they've been wanting to learn for a long time. When you actually go to a powwow, um, there's times where you can dance. It's called the intertribal. You don't have to have an outfit. You don't have to even be native to do the intertribal dancing. Um, but people try to be as welcoming as possible when you go to a powwow. So, even if you don't get to make it to a class like this, go to a powwow and you can see for yourself it's not judgmental whatsoever. So don't be shy, don't be scared because you, you'll know when you go and you see and experience it that people are welcoming you because you're coming back to a place that you should be welcome to. You know, you don't make dance classes this year, but keep an eye out for future flyers or opportunities. If your kid is in Lansing School District and they're native and you're not already connected with Mona, please make sure to be connected because they do all kinds of different, very awesome things for native youth in the community. There's so much joy and pride and I'm so passionate about it that it, it's undescribable, honestly. I'm in love with dancing and keeping the traditions of my people alive. Knowing that I'm raising my kids the same way that my mom raised me, I feel like I'm starting to tear up because I'm so proud of my girls and the love that they have for Powell's already and being so small. I can already tell that they're gonna have as much passion as I have about dancing and as much love for our culture and traditions as I do. Oh my goodness, how sweet and beautiful. And I love mm. how you know she was getting teary up at the end of that because it's such an yeah. important message and that, that, that they're able to pass it on. Gorgeous. Yeah, absolutely. And the next powwow class will be held on April 24th and May 1st. But if you're a parent of indigenous students and have questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to Ramona Henry. She puts this together and she will be able to answer all of your questions about this incredible program. You'll be in good hands, I promise. Her email is right on the screen. But um, we'll actually have this information on Facebook too if you miss it. So, yeah. Awesome.